Hello everyone, my name is Chaotic and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be discussing all the new content in the latest update for Grand Theft Auto Online. The update of course being the free mode event update which was released today on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4 and PC. Now first of all, if you weren't aware, this update has not added any new content items into the game such as cars, vehicles, weapons, clothing items or anything along those lines. But this update has in fact added a lot of new features into free mode, hence why this update is named the free mode event update. So anyway, getting straight into things and starting off with the 14 brand new free mode events for GTA Online. So let's go through each one. The first one is Hunt the Beast. Become the Beast, a stronger, faster and hairier version of your character. And flee the relentless pursuers all over Los Santos and Blaine County. So basically how this game mode works, one player plays the character of the Beast and the other players have to chase this person down and kill them as quickly as possible. The next game mode is King of the Castle and every man for himself turf war will need to ascend and claim the designated castle as your territory and then fend off everyone else as they go all out to dethrone you. Moving on to the next game mode, this is titled Hot Property, grab the briefcase and go. Jump into a car, bike, boat, motorcycle, P996 laser or just run for the hills with the coveted contraband in hand. Be one of the three players to hold the briefcase the longest to score GTA money and RP bonuses. The next game mode is named Moving Target and this is what it consists of. The first player to enter a marked vehicle will become the Moving Target, tasked with safely delivering the vehicle to a designated location. While the marked vehicles will be durable, it will take some serious elusive finesse to survive the other player's attempts to destroy you before the drop point. Moving on to Checkpoint Challenge, compete with all your Freemo competitors in a mad dash across Southern San Andreas, who will be the first to race or fly through all designated checkpoints for fame, fortune and reputation. Kill List and Kill List Competitive will consist of the following. Take control of some heavy artillery and duke it out with the mercenaries from Merryweather Security. Rack up GTA money and RP for each kill. The next game mode is named Dead Drop. Fight for possession of valuable contraband and see if you can make it to the drop first in this ruthless smuggler's run. Anyway, moving on to the next game mode, this is named Penned In. When you see the enormous dome appear over the Los Santos skyline, jump into the closest ride and find your way into it before the timer starts. Then stay within the dome as it begins to move and shrink, smashing and bashing rivals out. Those who are left out of the dome for more than 7 seconds will explode. See if you can be the sole survivor at the very end. Now I don't know about you guys, but I myself think the penned in sounds like the most exciting game mode so far. Anyway, moving on to criminal damage. Wedge your appetite for destruction with the all you can eat buffet. Get strapped with a favourite piece of heavy artillery and let loose over a given time period with no wanted level in sight. Wanton destruction is rewarded with every bullet hole and blast. The player with the largest property damage bill who causes the most destruction will win. The next game mode is named Hold the Wheel. A Sanchez, a golf cart or another otherwise humble mode of transport is made into an indestructible marked vehicle. Take command of it and avoid all the other jackers and assailants in your session to be the one behind the driver's seat when the time runs out. Try and go for it in solo to keep the entire GTA money award for yourself or shrewdly partner up with a gunner to ride with you for protection and split the earnings. Time trial is fairly simple and straightforward. Record the fastest time possible with a new course to master every week that awards you GTA money and RP for beating our target time or your own personal best and a championship worthy haul if you can take down the world record. Moving on to a game mode named Hunting Pack, you're part of a team tasked to deliver a priority vehicle rig to explode if it drops below a minimum speed, while your opponents race, ram and batter to take it down. Cross the Line is also another new game mode which consists of heavily armed squads face off across a neutral zone with the goal of having all team members strategically penetrate their opponent's territory to claim victory. And finally, the last events game mode is named Free Mode Challenges. Compete in 19 unique challenges against your free mode friends and foes. See who can perform the longest jump, who can drive the farthest without crashing, who can fall the longest distance without dying, who can free fall the furthest before pulling their chutes, and many other ways to risk your neck to try and be a top 3 finisher for GTA money and RP rewards. So there we go guys, those are the 14 new free mode events for GTA Online. 
Let me know your thoughts about these 14 and also let me know as well which one you think is your favourite. Maybe you've already played one or two of them, so let me know by leaving a comment on this video which one of these free mode events is your favourite so far. Now along with these new free mode events, the Rockstar Editor has also been added to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles with several new features. These are ambient sound effect tracks have been added to the project menu, players can now copy and paste their marker properties, players can now freeze the time of day in the director mode interactive menu, players can now take snapmatic photos in the editor, 10 new fonts have been added to the editor, 4 radio tracks from Worldwide FM are now available to use in the editor, one shot sound effects are available in clip edit view, players can now spawn vehicles from their hangar or marina while in director mode, the minimap will now focus on the location selected in the director mode interactive menu locations list, and new trophies and achievements have been added for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Steam. So that is it for the Rockstar Editor, but there is one final feature which is definitely worth mentioning, that being additional helicopter and plane spawn locations have been added for Pegasus vehicles. So when you go ahead and you call Pegasus and you have them deliver a vehicle, there are now more locations around the map where you can pick these vehicles up from. Well with that being said, that is it for this video, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I also hope you guys are having fun with the new update for Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts about the update. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd really recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.